promise no dogs were injured in the making of that <laughs> open right there. We no, promise you that. No, just having Coach, fun. Coach, last night we got a few calls about that, so just pointing it out right there. It is Bark Week here at Channel 3, just like Ancestry DNA tests for humans. Owners of our four-legged friends are also discovering their pets' roots. Yes, there are a number of kits out there to test genetic makeup of your mutt or maybe support the paperwork. Show your dog is a purebred. We tried them on two dogs, and tonight, <laughs> Channel 3's Monica Robbins is here with the doggy DNA results. She just stole my heart. As a vet tech at the Humane Society, Sarah Wybima could have adopted any dog she wanted. Can you sit? But she chose this one. So Winifred's full name is Winifred Bernice Picklebottom. Winnie is three years old, and given her short legs and big ears, Sarah can only guess her mix. What made this happen? Like, she's just the cutest thing I've ever come across. It's a question Sarah gets all the time. First question out of everybody's mouth is, what is she? And I don't have an answer for them. To help solve the mystery, we turn to dog genetics company Embark. After a quick swab, Winnie's DNA was off to the lab. I bet she has some dachshund in there. <coughs> Minpin, miniature pincher kind of comes to mind. <coughs> Embark is just one of many dog genetic companies on the market. Prices for kits and services range from about $90 to up to $400. Not cheap, but some vets say the information can help. If the point is to let you know what breed or breeds that your dog is, and that is good for us as veterinarians to know because certain breeds are predisposed to certain genetic conditions. So it may help us know that your pet may be predisposed to a certain heart condition or skin condition. We'll reveal Winnie's results shortly, but these DNA tests are not just for mixed breeds. Meet Tucker, a Shetland sheepdog, supposedly a purebred. But Tucker, who was adopted, does have a few characteristics that differ from the average Sheltie, such as a longer nose and longer legs. And Bark tests for over 250 breeds and 160 genetic health conditions. With enough data and research, we could increase the lifespan of dogs. In Tucker's case, his results show he's a carrier for one genetic condition, but he's also 100% Shetland sheepdog. No mix here. And Winifred? Over at the Wybima house, it's a different story. Results are in, and Winnie is a carrier for two genetic conditions, and she's definitely a mixed breed. 25.4% American Bully. Oh, American Bully? You're my little pity dog. 24.6% came from an American Staffordshire Terrier, another bully breed. In all, Winifred Bernice Picklebottom is a mix of about five different dogs, including Chihuahua, an Australian cattle dog. Knowing where she came from not only solves a mystery, but makes it more fun. A pity wawa? Pity wawa! <laughs> Let's call her a pity wawa. Everybody wants one because they're awesome. Now, not all dog DNA companies are created equal, so make sure you check how many breeds they test for and those genetic conditions and read the reviews before you order. There are several highly rated kits, but also some that are subpar. Monica Robbins, Channel 3 News.